If you are looking for free but powerful video editing software, you can consider OpenShot. OpenShot is available on most major platforms, including Windows and Mac. If you are new to video editing, OpenShot is an excellent software to start with as it provides most of the essential features. After opening OpenShot for the first time, you will see this screen. Some helpful tips will appear for the first time use. You can navigate through those by clicking Next, or you can hide those tutorials. We will mainly see basic video editing features like working with multiple clips, using only some parts of those clips, and adding some effects to them. Your first task will be to import those clips into the OpenShot. Everything imported to OpenShot will be visible in this area. Drag and drop media files in this area or click the import icon. Media files can be videos or audio or images. You can filter by file types which can be helpful if you have many imported files. After importing files, you must take those to the timeline for editing. The timeline is the real place where the editing happens. In the timeline, you can see which video frame is at what time. An essential thing in the timeline is the track. By default, there are five tracks in the OpenShot timeline, stacked on top of one another. You can add more tracks from this plus icon. Each track has the option to add another track above or below it. You can lock a track to prevent any change on it. You can remove a track if you do not need it. I will not need five tracks at the start so I will remove all but one. I can add track at a later time when I need it. To take a clip in the timeline, drag it to the position you want. You can adjust the position of the clip after taking it to the timeline. You can also zoom in or zoom out the timeline from here. I am zooming in so the clips will become bigger in the track. If you click at any position in the clip, you can see the frame in the viewer. This is the viewer area, and you can play clips from here. The viewer shows you how the video looks after editing. There is some gap between the start of the timeline and this clip. I can close the gap by dragging this clip to the beginning. This red line with a blue balloon-like tip is called the playhead. The playhead will move where you click inside the track, and you will see the frame at the point in the viewer. The playhead also moves to the current playing frame when you play the clips in the timeline. Playhead is an essential concept for a beginner in video editing, so play around to understand concepts like the playhead, track, and timeline. The clip I have in the timeline is longer than I wanted. So I have to split it and delete the parts one do not wish in the edited video. Use the playhead to find the position to split. It does not have to be perfect, as you can trim the edges. I want to split at this point, and a keyboard shortcut will do a split. If you are in Mac, press Command K, if you are in Windows, press Ctrl K. It is split at this point, and you can see I can drag it separately. To delete a clip, either right-click on the clip and remove clip, or press the delete button on the keyboard. I will take another clip in the timeline and keep only the part one want. I am not worried about the position to drop off as I can reorder them any time in the track. You can split to keep only one side of the clip. For example, if I press Ctrl L, only the left part will remain from the split point. I will undo it. Only the right side will stay if I press Ctrl J or Command J. There are many keyboard shortcuts for faster editing, and you should eventually learn those shortcuts. I can drag this clip and attach it beside the first clip. OpenShot has a vital concept called snapping which is the magnet here. A thin border around an icon means that the settings are on. So the snapping is enabled now, and clicking on it will disable it. Once the snapping is disabled, dragging another clip will not attach beside the clip. It will go as far as you drag, and a transition indicator will appear if overlapped. The blue vertical line between the clips added a fade in transition. You can select and delete this transition. Let's check what happens if snapping is enabled. If snapping is enabled, dragging the clip will attach it beside the other clip. If you drag further, it will only overlap, and the transition will appear. Snapping is an excellent way to put clips one after another without any gaps. I will fast forward editing of other clips. I have got all these clips from Pexels.com, which has free stock images and videos.
You can get clips from there and practice. All the clips are now in the timeline. You can split the clip from the razor tool in the timeline. Click to select the razor tool and drag it to the position of the split. You will always find more than one way to do the same thing in every video editor and pick the method you feel comfortable. You can add transitions between clips from the Transitions tab. OpenShot offers different types of transition and choose the one you like. I will select the bar ripple and drag it in between the clips. You can adjust the edges of the transition marker to set how long the transition will take. Transition adds a nice professional touch to your video. Practice a bit with different options and you will feel comfortable with video editing. Another common thing in video editing is the effects. You can add an excellent effect to a clip. OpenShot lists all the audio and video effects and you can filter by type. I will add this negative effect to one of the clips. A small n appears on the clip, denoting a negative effect applied on the clip. Let's play to see how the effect looks. You can add this kind of different touch using the effects. Let's check the emojis and this time experiment with another track. I will add another track above the track. Anything I put on track 2 will appear on top of track 1. This is an excellent way to add a text layer or another clip on top. These are built-in emojis in OpenShot and you can import your own, like the video files. I will use this smile moon face. I can trim it to adjust how long it will appear on the video. These small touches make a video engaging and it is pretty easy to apply. This default size is bigger than I need, so that I will resize it. Dragging the edges will resize the clips inside the viewer. A target icon is also inside the viewer to set the camera focus. To change the smiley position, drag from inside the smiley edges, not from the camera focus. It is all set, and let's see how it looks. The last piece of editing I will show in this video is how to add an audio track. I will add another track for audio. It does not matter if the audio track is above or below as that is not a visual element. I added an audio file during import and will take that audio to the track. By default, OpenShot shows the thumbnail for audio. If you want to see the waveforms of the audio, right-click and choose waveform from the display. OpenShot looks like quite a simple video editor but is very powerful. If you take some time to explore it, you will become quite good at video editing. The audio clip is longer than the timeline video clips, and I can remove the additional audio parts. Editing an audio track works in the same way you edit a video track. Basic copy-paste, delete everything works in the same way. Let's listen with the audio track on, it will feel lively with some audio. So what to do after you complete your editing? You have to export it in a single file to share or use as a video file. To do that, click on the red icon. You can set a file name and a location to save that file. The profile should be your intended purpose. For example, I will choose the web if I want to upload this video on YouTube. The target can be YouTube HD, choose one for your intended purpose. Choose resolution and frame rate. These values should not be higher than the original clip, you can check clip properties to know those values. I want this as high quality as possible. High quality will take some time to render but worth it. You can see the export progress, the file is generated when it hits 100%. Here is the final exported file. OpenShot is a powerful video editing software, very few people know about it. 
because commercial video editors are advertised and many professionals use those. To start, you may not need those, and OpenShot works well for learning video editing basics. I have talked about keyboard shortcuts, which are essential to master for effective video editing. You can see shortcuts from preferences. Here the shortcuts are listed with the control key, but if you use Mac, the control will be replaced with a command. You can also hide or rearrange different sections. Small icons at the top right of each section have the close or detach button. After separating, you can reattach to another place. You can make an area smaller or bigger depending on your needed space. Do not be afraid to try out rearranging sections, as you can get the default view from the simple view. You can also get an advanced view with more controls. Once you get comfortable with basic editing, these advanced options can give your video a professional look. I am keeping this tutorial to a basic level and wish to make more videos on advanced features. Sometimes you may not want to make any accidental change to section arrangement. In those cases, you can freeze the view. Upon freezing, you will not get close or detach section buttons. To get those back, you have to unfreeze the view. Always a good practice is to save your project and save it when you do significant work. That way, your changes will not be lost in the sudden crash of the software. I hope this video will help you start using a video editor like OpenShot. Thanks for watching and see you next.